Today, the John Boy Media office is gonna try and guess the price of various different grocery items, and whoever gets the closest to the total price allotted for all those items gets a special prize. I go grocery shopping, I don't know, once a week. I do a lot of the shopping for my home. My only thing that I bring to the table here is I watch a lot of prices. I watched a lot of <laughs> prices right. Probably not that high on the experience list of grocery shoppers. I have at least 10 more years than everyone else of grocery shopping. I don't really go grocery shopping that much. I went grocery shopping this morning, so I feel great. Why was I watching so much Prices Right when I was a kid? Hoping that olives are on the grocery list today. Otherwise, that kind of feels like a missed content opportunity. I just recently moved to New York back in April, so I feel like I'm gonna do pretty well because I'm like hyper-focused on how different the prices are from Tennessee to New York. Target in Manhattan. Will inflation is real, people. But I have a pretty good feel of where things once were price-wise to where they are now because of the I word. Inflation. One full-size Snickers bar. Full-size Snickers bar. Not the fun size. We're going full size. The one that you can get at like the check register, out. the checkout. Post-inflation. Post-inflation. Ah, okay. So nothing is less than a dollar now. I feel like back in the day, everyone's like, oh, go take 50 cents to a candy store and you'll be fine. Top two candy of mine. $3.11. $1.25. There's no way it's more than that. $2.04. $1.99. $1.39. I'm gonna lean on the heavier side. I'll go $2.10 for a full-size okay. Snickers bar. 12 pack of Coke cans. 12 pack of Coke. See, that's tricky, because I don't drink soda. Two things I don't buy often right off the bat. I don't buy a lot of cans. How much is soda? I don't think they would go over a dollar a can. One Coke can, about a dollar. Do you think like a dollar per can? I bet you get like a deal. Is tax involved? Uh, six eighty-nine. $6.89. $6? $6. $6. Five. 16. I'll say $10.50. Maybe that's low. $10.72. $11.99. I'm gonna shoot high. I'm gonna say $13.99. I feel like that might be low, actually. One singular banana. One singular banana. Bananas are the cheapest fruit. People don't know that. One of the cheaper fruits out there. But I buy them like a normal person. <laughs> oh, 54 cents. I bought a banana for lunch today, and it was 54 cents. 60 cents. 89 cents. 20 cents. 79 cents. Yeah, 38 cents. A dollar and 15 cents. 79 cents. I feel pretty good about that one. One gallon of whole milk. Oof, in this economy? It's, it's a stomach ache. I'm not, I'm not even buying whole milk. I'm buying almond milk. I don't buy milk. I don't drink whole milk, but every now and then I like having the like smaller thing of milk just in case I crave cereal or something. If I went to somebody's house and they had a gallon of milk, it's like the number one red flag. I feel like this should be cheap. One gallon of whole milk, I'm gonna confidently say is like $4. $2. $4.19. I'll go $4.99. Four ninety nine. dollars $3.37 or something in that range. I'll go three forty nine. dollars That's my worst one confidence level so far. 12 pack of Bud Light cans. 12 pack of BLs. Ah, all right, now this. Should be good at this one. Oh, I'm actually not a big Bud Light drinker. Ooh, hmm. I haven't really dabbled in that avenue. Gluten-free, I haven't drank beer in three years. Bud Light's cheap, right? So if I said Coke was $11.99, probably gonna be more than that. In New York City? 18 pack in Tennessee would be like 20. Um, $16.99. I'll say like 14 bucks on this. Eighteen ninety nine. Ten fourteen. Seventeen ninety nine. Thirteen dollars. Fifteen ninety nine. Twelve dollars. <laughs> Pause real quick. Not sure if you've looked at a calendar as of late, but um, it's the holiday season, which means it's gift giving season, which means you're probably like me and uh, really behind now that I think about it. But don't worry, don't worry. We have a cheat code. Okay, that cheat code is uh. Mugsy jeans. I know, I know, we talk about them all the time. That's because they're literally the best jeans on the face of this earth. Not only do they have jeans, but they have joggers. They have flannels. They have uh -huh, jackets. And when I tell you this is the most comfortable denim jacket I have ever owned, I don't feel like I have a board up my back because I can move, I can lounge. I could run a marathon if I wanted to in this thing. Look at that detail. Thanks. Anyways, if you want to be the best gift giver on the face of this earth, AKA a legend, 
Muggsy Jeans, that is the place to go. So go to Muggsy.com, use code JOHNBOY for 10% off, 10% off. 10% off your entire order plus free shipping and returns. I know, I know. Call me Santa Claus. No, call Muggsy Jeans Santa Claus because they're that great. Muggsy.com, code JOHNBOY, 10% off. Okay, back to the video. Standard wide ruled marble or spiral? With the spiral. That's important. The fact that it has a spiral. Extra goods. They gotta, someone's gotta pay for that. <laughs> Let's pay extra for that. Um, One spiral, how many subject? How wide? Like this wide? Um, I haven't bought a notebook since like before college. It's going on 20 years of not buying notebooks. I don't think I've ever bought that. For 4.49. That seems like it could be fair. 4.29. 2.25. That feels cheap too now. 6.50. That felt high. 3.10. 3.86. I'm gonna guess six. Dollar 99. Any more is unreasonable. A loaf of wheat bread. Mm, okay, I buy wheat bread. I buy Char's gluten-free bread. It's the best gluten-free brand. I was like a white bread guy for a while, and I was like, this is terrible for me. <laughs> I think white bread is cheaper. Gluten-free bread will run you $7 a loaf. I don't think I've bought many things on this list. However, wheat bread will be on it. They give you five pieces of bread, five. Wheat bread, uh, two ninety-nine. Seven, no. It's like three twenty-five something in that neighborhood. Three twenty-five. Yeah. Four dollars. One fifty. What are you supposed to do with five? You make two and a half sandwiches. Seven eighteen. Five twenty-five. Two twenty. That. Mm. It seems cheap, but I'm gonna walk in that answer. I would love to buy regular wheat bread for the price of three seventy-seven. So the smaller one of Tide Tide detergent. Pods or the the liquid. 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 I don't usually buy Tide. I do know that laundry detergent is expensive. Twenty. Mm, I'm on the bridge of high teens, low 20s. Ooh, 9 I also bought laundry detergent this week. $6. 12 Like 13 bucks. I'll say seven fifty. Six forty-two. Seventeen ninety-nine. I'm gonna go nineteen eleven. The year my great grandma was born. Hmm, double stuffed Oreos. Double stuffed Oreos, they've gone up. Single stuffed, I was not interested. Double stuffed. Extra stuffing, put that into the equation. You're looking at a... Uh, mm, this one I really don't know. And they've getting more and more pricier every time you go to the grocery store. Did you guys used to break the Oreos off, the double stuffed, and then you make like a quadruple stuffed? Right off the bat, double stuffed Oreos, five bucks. It's not gonna be like, is it? Would it be that much? 4.47. Like $4. 4.21. 4.99. You're gonna go five bucks, basically. Ten bucks. Ten bucks. Oreo can they can charge that much. People will still buy it. 8.99. And like they could raise that up, like markup. I think that's a business term by like 80 percent, and I would still buy it. <laughs> Once I wouldn't pay for it, it's probably where it's gonna be. All right, I'll go 10, 10, 15. One package of marshmallows. Seems like it should be cheap. A bag of mar. This has to be cheap. It's just sugar. Literally what? Like sugar and sugar. It feels, I feel like it's really easy to make marshmallows. It's usually like with 10 other things. So it's like I just scan and move on, so I have no idea. I literally have no idea. Marshmallows are cheap. Um, 289. I'm gonna go 398. 350. 350. 150. Two dollars and 94 cents. 575. No, no. 825. I'll say four dollars and 10 cents on this one. Oh boy, no, um, there's a couple that I think I messed up on. I think it was around the, um, the 12 pack of Coke. I felt like I was way off. Like I think the soda one, I was like really off. I came in hot, uh, didn't love some of my answers, but I'm, I'm a really like gut instinct guy. But I thought I had some good gut intuition, but <laughs> maybe I'm so off. I mean, truthfully, I think I probably nailed some of those. I feel like some I crushed. Like I think some of those, I probably just nailed it right on and Maddie was shocked. I think I did really good. Um, I do a lot of grocery shopping. But we'll see. I think it'll be good. The total that you were looking for was 53.91. Oh. Fuck, I went way too high. Your total was 82. Oh, man. Dude, the target by me is ripping me off, I think. Put these prices on like Instacart and I probably killed it. That same grocery list, if you're getting it delivered to your house, I just got it spot on. 39.95. Hey, budget prices. Usually I shop on a budget at the grocery store, not at the Manhattan Target. Oh, wow. And you went See, he's an expensive cat. <laughs> <laughs>
<laughs> Don't tell him I called him a cat. He's, he's gonna hate that. I think I'm $20 off. I did better than I thought I would. Can you tell me what item I did the worst on? The soda screwed Yeah, I knew I definitely went under on that because like soda's oh, not a- pack of Coke cans, $6.99. It's lower? They're, give, they're practically giving that away. <laughs> That's insane. You came in at 65.10. Okay. I, to me, that doesn't feel horrible. I feel like some people might have gone into the stratosphere. And your total was 63.15. Oh. Okay. The difference of 924. Dang. But overall, a good round. You know why? I get the pods. I think that's why the pods are a little bit more expensive and they're worse for the environment. I don't know why I do it. At 45.20. Yeah, that's about right. I came in a little low on some of those prices. Banana, you went high. 79 cents. One banana, 29 cents. Damn, it's a dollar at my coffee place. I'm getting ripped off. <laughs> you landed at 61.36. $7.45. That's pretty good. That, I gotta be, I gotta be pretty close to the top of the leaderboard. If I have been in Wordle for what, 57 weeks and don't win, and if I win the first ever guess that price, monumental. I can tell you didn't win. Oh, no. <laughs> Who did better than me? You landed at 57.07. Okay, that's not bad. Unless someone just is like an avid grocery shopper and is there every day, I think I've, I have to at least be in top two. Well, I'm very proud of myself and hopefully I find out at the end of this video that I won.